Alright boys and girls, I hope you can hear me. Willingham's pass is We are literally in the waning moments here at Bowie State University Young, where the Bulldogs the right now are at set the five to yard line. Uh, it's second and goal at the five yard line. Well you look at what live local late breaking and uh instant multimedia is all about. It's your boy Mark Gray. We chilling at Bowie State today with the Bulldogs. Look like they're gonna hang on, barring a miracle of biblical proportion and kind of stuff that you would see only in like the Bible or a great fictional epic. They lead 31 to 19 with 19.4 seconds left to go in regulation in a game where a pretty damn solid Division II football team played with poise it's and like the champion once again and by no line. means does this team have a dominant offensive personality like a uh amir hall and there is no one charismatic uh player to watch they are the personification of the team and they make big team plays in the third quarter they the defense that is bailed out the offense with a huge interception off of deflection in the more run in the zone. And it is going to make sure you read through this video. But it kind of underscores what makes Blue State a great team and a great program. I mean, when you get that kind of teamwork in moments of like that, much like we saw last week in Fayetteville, Fayetteville, North Carolina, that's the reason why this team is once again playing for a chance to move on. Now, though nothing has been confirmed, if you are a Blue State fan, I would assume that Thanksgiving weekend, after you do your Black Friday shopping, and we all know that everybody's going to be getting their digital Christmas thing on. You probably might want to make arrangements to get out here to Bowie State. Um, they are a top seed in their region. So what happens is that top seed will probably play again at home. And given that they were a uh, top seed or one of the top seeds in the region, depending on what happens in other games around the country, there could be a matchup here at Bulldog Stadium. Um, at the end of the first half, well, let, let's just start at the, at the beginning of the first half. I mean, this Bulldog team set the tone on the opening drive and scoring a touchdown. When you have the kind of defense that they have, that makes a very big statement in terms of helping a team um, get their tournament legs under them. And I thought that that's what Bowie State needed early on. They got they got out to a lead. They were able to play from ahead, and they were certainly in that comfort zone all afternoon long. Again, if you're a Bowie State fan, you're worried a little bit about the injuries that were suffered. Uh, quarterback um, uh, Jerome Johnson, uh, he had a bad interview, uh, 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 ankle injury that uh, messed him up a little bit here in the second half. And then, um, you know, the standard aches and pains, as we talked about on other social media posts that go with the season, and it'll be interesting to see how they rebound from another series of losses in the um, offensive line. But still, a victory day at Bowie State. The Bulldogs clock in a 31-10 to victory over... Uh, State, and no matter over uh, Lenore Rodgers, and no matter what happens, what happens at all, well, uh, you can't take away the third consecutive CIAA championship. You can't, can't take away the fact that this is a team and a program that is hosting two NCAA tournament games, and they won both of them. So it may have been a long time in coming for the Bulldog program to get to this 
point where they're here and you get the feeling that this may be one of those ain't no stopping us now time for those of people of a certain age who may uh who may look back on this as a time of destiny and uh you just hope that they can keep it moving. I'll be all over this for the HBC Sports Nation on YouTube next week before I hit the road for the Bayou Classic. So this time next weekend, all willing and COVID not prohibiting, we will be on the floor of the New Orleans Benz, well, the uh, Mercedes Benz Superdome in New Orleans for the Bayou Classic. Plus from Bulldog Stadium and the DMV. The Bulldogs of Boone State continue to represent CI Double A football. It's a 31 to 10 victory over the North High. Bulldogs wait to face another opponent again next week. It's your boy Mark Gray cruising around the HBCD Sports Nation in the DMV. It's time for a crab cake, a natty bowl, then I'm going to get ready for the fight. But y'all make sure y'all join us on the HBCU Sports Nation. And oh yeah, by the way, if you missed it, check us out. We uh we got last week's posted somewhere around here. Find out what you've been missing. Y'all have a great night. Be safe. Peace.